I'm using every single ounce of this fabric. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. I am super excited to be doing another thing that we've never done on this channel before. Today we are going to be using raw fabric. Yes, I very, very rarely use raw fabric. And the reason is, is because typically you will buy raw fabric at a fabric store and it just doesn't inspire me much at all. But if you're trying to be environmental, you can use secondhand fabric or thrifted fabric. So this fabric was gifted to me by my daughter's dance director. Some costumes, leotards um, were made for competition years ago. And I have had this fabric for years waiting for the perfect, the absolute perfect thing to make out of it. And so I saw this amazing, this amazing bathing suit. I cannot say the designer's name. I'm not even going to try to butcher it. I will put it here. Um, and I highly recommend going to see this line. It's from a trunk show for December 2021. This isn't even out yet. We're doing stuff that's not even out yet. You can't even buy this swimsuit until December of 2021. Yes. So, um, definitely put the link in the description box. Go check it out. They have, oh, the bathing suit. It's just absolutely amazing. Just mm, absolutely amazing. But I saw this one and then I saw a different one in a different color, the blue one right here. And I'm like, wait a minute, is that the same bathing suit? And I looked at it 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 and I was like, that's the same bathing suit. It is convertible, reversible. You could wear it 50 million ways. It's one of those things that you could wear 50 million ways. Yes, yes. And as I studied it, and you guys know I studied it, I studied it, my brain, you guys, a lot of times you're like, I wish I was in your brain. You probably don't want to be in my brain. But my brain was like, all that is is a tube and two scrunchies for the shoulders. That's the way my brain works. I dissect things down into simple geometry, simple things. And that's how I'm able to um, take something big and kind of like make it into bite-sized pieces so that I can digest it easier. So yes, it's a big tube, a long tube and two scrunchies on the shoulders. That's it. And that's what we're going to do. And it's going to be amazing. And I'm going to show you four ways that I wear it. Yes, you can convert it probably a million different ways, but I'm gonna show you four ways at the end. Let's do it. The only measurements for this one that you're going to need is your bust measurement and your strap measurement. This is our fabric. I'm trying to do my best to make the most out of this fabric because I want as much length on the wrap as possible, but I still want to double up on the bodice part so that, you know, you get a little bit more support for one thing and then it covers up, you know, like, your nipple and all that good stuff. So <laughs> the actual reason why I want to double up is because I want a place to put in the straps. I want to be able to slip the straps in between the two layers. We do have some curves and imperfections in there. We're gonna work with it. So I am going to just cut this along the back edge and then I'll have two long lengths of this material. I like that satisfying. There we go. A little ASMR. Let's go ahead and take what's going to be the bodice piece off and we'll finish cutting these straps. So basically I'm just gonna fold it in half and cut it down the middle and we're gonna have two long lengths. Um, they're about 50 inches long and nine inches wide. We're just going to double fold hem these with a shallow zigzag stitch or a twin needle. And if you don't know anything about a twin needle, I do have a whole video about it. I have 50 inches across and this dip in the middle. I needed to go around the back of my bus and cross over the front, which means I need more than 38 inches. So I am gonna use this 50 inches and make it work because it stretches. And then I just need to make this curve even. It's gonna hit in the back. I didn't want there to be a curve in the back, but it is what it is. This is reversible, so it could be in the front sometimes. So that does work. I'm gonna fold it in half. And I could actually cut the extra fabric, which is not really extra. It's going to be for the straps. Like I'm using every single ounce of this fabric. 
and I have this folded in the middle the long way. You can see it's not exactly even. So we're gonna do the best we can and just kind of cut it even. All right, so now we have it pretty well even and we can go ahead and fold it in half this way and cut the little dip part this way. I hope that don't mess up the whole look, but it is what it is. This is what we had to work with. The next thing I'm going to do is take this to the sewing machine and sew the whole top down. I'm not gonna sew the sides because we're gonna add the extra length to the sides. And hey, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Definitely hit that subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. We are doing back to back to back amazing things this summer, so you don't wanna miss it. Hit that subscribe button and we're going back to the video. As you can see, I haven't sewn this up yet. I need to mark it for where the straps should be. And grab the back oh, oh. and we'll measure it from the center for the other side Let's see if that works for the front yes that works for the front as well all right so we are going to make our little shoulder scrunchies <laughs> i'm going to just use the rest of this this is all i have so this is about 28 inches it's got a scrunch up you know to give it full effect so the longer the better i am going to make a piece that is as wide as possible in the middle and it's going to taper off on the sides i want to fold it this way so that when I fold it in half, I can see all the troll spots. There we go. So as much as possible over here, and then we're just gonna have it taper off on the ends. So we can go ahead and cut that out. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I knew before I start cutting that that's not what I wanted to do. I knew it. So basically what I needed was something that went like this. Tell me when I'm going astray. I need to hear you. I know y'all were screaming. I know you were. What are we gonna do now? Do we just cut it in half and hope for the best? I had a feeling I, before I started cutting, I was like, think about that again. And did I? No, I did not. If you see it in the end and you like it, then think back to yourself like, hey, if it can look like that, even though she makes huge mistakes, then I can do it too. I don't know how it's gonna go down but it's getting connected some kind of way. I'm gonna stretch the a straight side. Actually, maybe that'll work. <laughs> maybe I did something here. Maybe I did something. I'm gonna fold it and sew it along the edge and get ready to do straps. We need two pieces of elastic that are gonna go inside of these. Here we have our little strap. It didn't turn out bad. Oh, I got super lucky. Super lucky. As a matter of fact, it actually does some like weird scrunching that makes it look more like the inspiration. So I have my piece of elastic. I, all I did was put it over my shoulder and stretch it um, to make sure it was snug and cut it. And we're going to put a safety pin on it and push it through here. Um, see if we can cheat a little bit and just shove it in there. <laughs> Once you get it in there enough where you get the end of it, just add a clip or a pin and then just keep pulling it through on the other side. So now we're gonna push it the rest of the way out the other end and clip that side as well. And that's what it's looking like. Super cute. And tell me that don't look like a scrunchie. That's a scrunchie. So I have both of them. Super cute, nice and puffy. Is it puffy because of my mistake? I guess we'll never know. As you can see, I didn't put the stitch in it at the top because I don't feel like doing that and then taking a the stitch out to double stitch. I just put it on and added pins on the front and on the back and I can fold it. This is actually the technical front. Depends on how you think about it. But make sure they match, add pins, and then we're gonna put this inside because it's going to do that. I wanna add this pin only to one side I'm gonna add a clip in the middle here to make sure I don't get off where each side is connecting since we have this little puff in the middle. This should go here. And this one should go here. And we're gonna do the other side as well. All right, 
and then we'll go ahead and sew the whole top of this. Uh, this was supposed to be a zigzag stitch. <sighs> so here it is after I've sewn it. You can see that I did do the curve, but then I went back and decided just to do it straight, kind of like a, just a straight V. I think that'll be better going forward, especially because I'm not gonna do a top stitch. So making that curve pop out is not gonna be easy if I don't do a top stitch to make that seam stay. It's so pretty. This color is everything absolutely everything so this is going to be the outside although it won't matter a whole whole lot oh i did my things that way so that actually wants to be the inside so we are actually going to turn it back right side out i did mark which side is the front with a pen because it will matter since the wrap part is not double. We're gonna get our strips. I did all of the edges except for one. That's gonna be the one that's in the seam. It's actually gonna go inside, faced, good side to good side with the part that we marked front. So we're gonna pull it through and we're just gonna sew it in. So that's what I was saying, if you had enough fabric, you could have just continued this and made it one super long tube. But since I don't have enough fabric, that's the way we're gonna do it. And we're just gonna sew it there. And we'll also do the same on the other side, but we'll leave the middle open so that we can get it turned right side out. Why is this thing fighting me? All my life I had to fight. All right, let's see if it is all together. All we have is just this one little hole to pull the whole thing through. Oh, it's big enough to get my hand in, so. Whew, I sewed it right on the right side. Yes. Don't look like much right now. Just wait till I put it on. Last step, add a top stitch to just this side because we have this spot that's open right there. So I just have to turn that under, stretch it a little bit. The reason I stretch it is because this one is a little bit shorter than this. When I was sewing this, I should have used a zigzag stitch and I didn't because the whole thing is supposed to be stretchy. I should have used either my twin needle or a zigzag stitch or a serger to do this, just to keep it as stretchy as that part so I don't pop any stitches. When you're doing it on the vertical, it doesn't matter as much. On the horizontal, you need it to stay stretchy because you're gonna be pulling at it. All right, so let me show you the three ways from the inspiration of how to tie it. So this is the main way to wear it. I don't like the bulkiness of these seams. If I could have had just one long two, it would have been optimal for me but we're gonna work with it from the front is just a cross body wrap top so you just cross it and then from there do it however you like you tie it in the front make sure everything is tucked and it has this part on top open like that the second way is backwards. Put it how you like it. You cross it in the back. And then you want to cover the bottom of the bodice with the wrap. Once you get it tied like several times, back and forth. I mean, you're talking about snatch. And you can leave it tied in the back or you can tie it in the front. Tie it off to the side. Lastly. This is the one that's not necessarily for my body type, but you take it from the back, twist it, and then wrap it in the back, and then you come across, put it however you want it, wherever you want it to hit, and then go down and like that. I would probably do this one to the back so that um, this has my back exposed and my front covered that's how it is on the inspiration so let's go style this appropriately so i hope it made sense on how to tie these things this was a very simple tutorial like i said throughout the process it could have been easier if i had more fabric and i do think it is worth a trip to the uh, fabric store to get something to make this really just one long tube and two scrunchies on the shoulder <laughs> but i like
like working with what I have. And if you are interested in sharing your upcycles with me and with other like-minded people, definitely look in that description box below for the link to my free Facebook group, as well as I do have a class, an upcycle class. It is with the highest membership group of my members only. Hit that join button down below to learn more, as well as the other membership levels with perks so you can know what I'm about to do before everybody else. Yes. But let's see, let's see how this thing turned out. about somebody who feel like a million dollars I feel like a million dollars in this like you can't tell me nothing I just need more fabric so I can make the bottom so this can also be a bathing suit because it was intended to be a bathing suit I'm wearing it as a top 50 million different ways I mean and I thought I wasn't going to be able to do the twist tie in the front but with a little bit of a change up to suit my body Oh, it's snatched. I mean, and this is the thing about this top. I see it suiting so many different sizes, shapes. Oh, just almost everybody. I won't say everybody because I know as soon as I say everybody, anybody who's not, they're going to put in the comments, well, what about me? I say almost everybody this would suit in some way, shape, or form. You guys, let me know in the comments if you think this would suit you, how you would alter it to suit you if you like it. And ah, I just love reading you guys' comments. It gives me so many ideas on new projects to do. So yes, I absolutely love reading you guys' comments. So leave them down below and check out other videos, including this denim. It has a little v on it yes you can see it here denim bandana top that we did last week and don't forget to subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing and i will see you in the next one bye